without any messing around, really, Lucy. We are finally here. It's Mirage, the first map. It's fours with a punish and absolute curveball to kick off this series. And for their sake, I hope it pays off. Will Apex get their first win on Mirage for the year? That's the secondary question we have coming into this. They'll be on the CT side. They'll lean over towards B, but I think it's going to be an A split based on this early positioning. Smoke's going through and up through Connector. This is very fast from fours, but Nork and Sassanito with a great crossfire. The bomb delivered. Shalfi coming up through the windows. This is explosively fast, but it's left with the result as the only remaining member. He has a one versus three on his hands. They know where he just dropped from. Can't even really collect the bomb. Yeah, this is tough. Uh, and surely he gets removed in just a couple of seconds here. Good layer in. Nork's going to take the contact. And then you've got the swing out of Steeko in connector. You've also got sense in jungle. Like, this should be fine because he can't grab the bomb. It's so far in the open. It's so much further removed from the bomb site. This is so difficult. The only way he can win this is if they give him the fights one by one. But fortunately enough, Sense hits the headshot. That gets very scary for Apex, and Fours are given a way back in to win that. Yeah, a little shaky, giving him the 1v1s, the headshot angle over in the stairs. You can kind of just run him down, and you know, when you're in that position. But they had the bombs, so they didn't feel like they wanted to give opportunities, but did almost. But it's all good. Sent saves the day. Three and fours out. Who needs utility? Not Apex, because you're just against pistols. What a chaotic pistol round from fours. Just so much pace. You had the the crossfire that was established a little bit later on with Palace Jungle, with players splitting through connector, but the crossfire initially was just so good from Apex. Jacob now spotting in the window. Doesn't see anything initially. Finally, gets a sight of these players. Sassanito can also step in, but actually steps straight into the crosshair of Shalfi. Jacob now needs to be careful because although these nades are doing damage, those two M4s that have just been dropped. All right, North's here to clean up. And as long as they can pick up these two M4s, it'll be okay. That's one to be collected. Yeah, all the three M4s recovered, so... At the end of the day, it's a little scary for a moment when the uh, the D comes through on towards Cad, and then you see Jacob get caught in window. But all three M4s get recovered. A couple of MP9 kills for Nork as well. So I wonder if he's considering the orphan into this round because he's not purchased yet. And yeah, he will pick that one up. So we get to see the AWP out for him early. 5-1 start for Nork off the back of the MP9 farming he just achieved. Oh, oh Sticker gets a little... Swipe from a teammate. Not ideal. It's aggressive immediately. Out of Apex. I like this. They're just... Being very varied in the way they want to set up. They've let fours be the dictators of pace over the last couple of rounds. Result has spotted some toes. So he knows his players are locked in. Pre-aim, but not quite good enough. Sent to find the opener. Sassanito, full blind by Tanir. And he's able to get that trade. And now Stiko is in a world of pain. Fully blind, but still surviving for at least one more kill. And the Molly's doing trickle damage onto these players. They can rotate over in time now, Apex. That's the damage. North needs to be careful. This player up on the balcony almost takes him down. Sense tries to step on in, and Jacob, this is the critical flank. Needs to catch this time on Gokushima. Sense has fallen. And North doesn't want to give this a look in. He just got this AWP, so this is going to be force getting on the board, I feel. Jacob doesn't look like he wants to get involved. There's no kit. And you got to say, it's a very heads up play from Fords to flash forward in towards the apartments. You know, given that there was a deep CT smoke, well, you know, the default CT smoke kind of midway up towards the window which is there to, to feign that Sassanito wasn't close in towards the kitchen, but they still throw the flash through, make sure the diligent gets them the kill, and they accelerate off it perfectly. Good timing on that push as well from Fours, because that comes in immediately after contact is taken from Ramp, after Sense finds the opening kill. But you're right, it's actually very, very clever for, for them to anticipate that there's going to be a player up close, especially when the other extremity is being challenged in ramp. So Apex just kind of spreading themselves a little bit too thin. 
Normally you'd see fours reset and go through middle because that would have been the gap. Instead, they just fight forward. And I feel like that's really been the sentiment of the first three rounds of play. Fours are more than happy to throw themselves into these gunfights. They are, they've got the belief that they're currently better. And it's that confidence, it's that momentum that we were talking about pre-game that might see them through. A good response. It does leave us here on the MAC-10. It leaves utility a little bit limited, but that goes both ways, despite the AWP being saved. You can see Norks feeling like he has to get involved early, be the one that dictates this round, but Fall's going fast. That's Nito's going to drop the smoke just in time. That's going to allow him to play a little bit around MD, looking for this kill. Does eventually find on Tania, but Stiko fell. Tassanito still runs forward for another. Meanwhile, Nork was dealt with. With sense being caught, this round is looking done. Jacob is here. Can't quite find Gokushima though, ready for that aggression. So the pace from fours is fantastic. Yeah, shout out Shalfi in that round. Because he's in towards connector, but he's holding it in such a way in which he can already swing and anticipate these players that are going to be looking towards short. Looking over more towards jungle, perhaps, because fours have been always boosting in the window. So by him playing bottom connector, but just tucks around the corner, he can take the fight on his terms. And he's able to overwhelm Nork, for example. He's only got one opportunity to fire off a shot before he falls. Talks about the money before, and now it, it doesn't feel great. Neither does that. Huge nades on towards sense. Utility, this time leading the pack of these four players into the bomb site, And it's so clean. Not a single casualty on their way in. Zasanito, all he can do is watch on and look at the kill feed as it just fills up with his teammates. Yeah, that was very, um, very nice and forward. Very direct, but all very calculated. They, they've been putting a lot of pace into these early rounds on the T side, but it, and even this one, right? They they got into mid very quickly. They were ramp, they were out ramp right towards Tetris super early, but didn't charge on in through the util, cleared the angles. As of such, the Deagles, the Pistols get nothing done, even the little boosted one behind Triple. Shafi can go for a hunt with the Mac 10. Doesn't hurt to. Interesting dynamic on this because it's it's interesting. The way that Fours play maps like Mirage and Inferno, I guess like the your classic CSGO maps in which they've been around for so long, they feel a lot more comfortable on, but also they're very direct on these maps. This is why I, I thought Inferno would have been a good pick for fours because they know what they want to do immediately out of spawn. It, it feels like they're in control of a lot of the gunfights they've been taking. And I feel like actually that's very similar here on, on Mirage at the moment. Whereas we get into maps like Ancient, like Anubis, and their mid-rounds actually completely change in the way that they play them. It's a lot more slow, it's a lot more methodical, and don't get me wrong, Fours are being methodical on this T side, but it's not with the same level of Venom that I'm used to seeing them with. MAC-10 overwhelming JKM is something that should not be happening. And in the blink of an eye, look, they're up short, they're in. Steeko's about to be split on, will survive the first test, needs support from his teammates. Fortunately enough, Nort's rotating in. Goes down, resource can slow down. Yeah, this is just blistering. Yeah. You blink and you miss these rounds. Like the pace they put on. It's a bit unfortunate Jacob loses that duel in mid. He shouldn't be losing that duel. No. Uh, but what I like from Force is they've already got Celter up cat this whole time, right? Like the, the flash comes over and he's just charging on through while the fight comes through in towards middle itself, gets the, the critical kill on towards the cat player, and then Stiko is on an island. Between multiple angles. These rounds, this, this, that was like the first 15 seconds of the round and it's over. This is, this is flat from Apex at the moment. Something's got to give, something's got to change. It won't come into the next round despite the loss bonus. They won't be investing into it. This is incredibly one-sided right now. Fair enough. Currently for fours, it is looking uh, pretty good to kind of pick this map. It wouldn't 
You take a look at the stats on HLTV, you take a look at the win rate the Force has been kind of adopting in the last few months, and you wouldn't anticipate them to be down this bad on Mirage, because it feels like they're in complete control. No one ever wants to be down bad. Sense has saved M4. Has a couple of deagles around it. Now falls slow down a little bit. But they're still taking very assertive control in towards middle. You know what's up with the economy. Although when you play these slow rounds against pistols, that's when it can get scary. Because, you know, you walk into one, you give up a kill. Like that. Even right, though that's... Sneaker's fully blind. Still gets the kill. That's an M4 that gets collected. Jacob almost an opportunity. Now you've got a stack over towards A where the M4 is sense dancing his way back into shadow. Has to back on through. But they are slowly thinning the herd until Nork hits another deke shot. Sense is dealt with though. Sunita would love to pick up one of these rifles. You might get a chance to. You can see one on the steps in front of him. A smoke as well. So AK is his. Oh, this HE blow is sold up. Oh, it hits him. But he's just around the corner. It's not even him that wins the fight. It's Gokushima. Which means that Sassanita has got no idea that Celta's in this smoke. But he just walked past him. He wants to take the fight. Gokushima spotted him. This should be the activation point for Celta. Gets the confirmation in the sec that he's in Sandwich. And this kill should just be locked in. Gets scary though, as you mentioned, that the the slowdown from fours, it felt like they were funneled in towards A off the back of Stiko hitting that incredible Deagle shot. But from there, they felt really forced into where they wanted to go. It does eventually pan out in the in the two on two because individual gunfights are given over by Apex because they're so disjointed because it feels like they've got the confidence from the rest of their teammates that they've already hit these shots potentially we could still disrupt Forza's game plan which has to now be the so focus of attention on this timeout because playing their own game does not work for Apex they now have to be really ready and they have to respect the rushes that Forza are going to give them So Apex's response is they finally will get the rifles back out again. Including the AWP for Nork. Just keeping a little bit of extra money. No, he does eventually spend that cash. Starting in towards window. Getting boosted up in towards ladder. We started to do this two rounds prior as well. This time he wants to get an early activation. Players already crossed though. His flick goes awry. Shelby winning that one out, but Jacob, an immediate kill back into response. Okay, Sassanito. That damage is just instant. Nice. And Jacob walking in. That's very good. Finally a trade, but so much damage has already been applied, and Sassanito just finishes the job. Much better round out of Apex, but I'll be honest, the way it started concerned me. Because Nort peeking, that's absolutely fine for him to do that. Wasn't set up with any utility. There wasn't an escape plan if he missed the shot. All of those gunfights felt very individual. JKM winning his in connector. Sassanita doing early damage and then trading. But again, all of these fights, one-on-ones. There was no team cohesion in that round. That was just the individual stepping up. Norks going to try the same thing again. Now he started in window and this time it's dropping towards underpass. Jacob. Celta. Very low. And Jacob not aware that he could be that far progressed. Oh dear. Oh dear is right. Uh, the comms just not there. You've got a player that's down under. You've got sense that finds the opening kill over at ramp but there's just no communication that they can be scaled nork should have gone connector there 
because what happens, I think, is the sense was supposed to be that player that was going to cross into connector, but he actually gets engaged with a fight at ramp, and then that delays his timing. And from there, Apex have got no information whatsoever. It just means you've got these gaps presented. Sure, there's a little bit of damage at the end with Nork finding one kill, but that really hurts if you're Apex. You just won the round. You've immediately lost. You've got no money yet again. You can force into it. I feel like you should force into it because you've got to be applying pressure back. Yeah, this is... Yeah, they're taking the fours. Discuss how they want to approach it. I mean, kudos to fours for just the unrelenting pace that they're bringing to the table. Because Apex are almost expecting a more patient Counter-Strike, like a more respectful Counter-Strike. Yeah. Fools are showing no respect at all. They, they're just charging through and catching these timings that you wouldn't expect a team to be getting away with. This is, honestly, bread and butter of a team with full confidence versus a team with very little at the moment. And you can kind of, it is obviously reflected kind of in the storylines that we've got. Fours have always been close to qualifying for main events. Finally have got their their first berth at a, at a big, big event that they qualified to with this roster. It's the perfect time to play Apex, who got blindsided by all the teams in South America at the major. Lots of uncertainty. The expectations was maybe not top eight again but at least the elimination stage at least kind of the quote-unquote legends category for this team however not finding it is troublesome Celta taking damage it's pretty good opening for sticker at the very least and finally there's a little bit of calm because fours know the money is not great and they want to try and avoid, once again, walking into these pistols. They've noted that the rifle is out at B. But it's how they kind of navigate the rest of this round. Stickers boost up. Ooh, almost a head reveal. So he's above it. Should be in a good position for the first and can fall off. Now he spotted players jumping on out. Can con that one over, but he's the one with the M4. Plus Anito can't get it done with the Deagle. Stiko gets one more, but is traded. Still an advantage. Nork spotted. Nork with the headshot. Two in this round. And it leaves Celta in the apartments with this open back. They know it. Fast fight coming from Jacob. So it's the AK. Nork's found his own as well. He should be caught any moment by Jacob as he slowly flanks on through. Not going to be saving this AWP today. Well played from Apex. Again, we can talk about confidence all we like. We can talk about the mentality that both these teams have got. But ultimately, at the end of the day, the individuals on Apex are better than those of Fours. And it's weirdly enough been the, these eagle rounds, these half buys that have got a bit of bite behind them, that have actually looked the most competitive. It was nearly in the previous Force by Apex were able to make something happen. It, it, it's erupted into a two-on-two -two that ultimately Fours are able to win out. This time it converts. This time it's Steco elevated. You're putting the rifle in a powerful position. And then the Deagles are doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Shout out Nork who hit a banger on towards Shaw. Which really just scuppered the plans of Force. It forced them to come only from one direction. It had to all be from B. And from that point you can activate the flank. You can dwindle the numbers. It's the first pause that's been called in by the T side, finally feeling a, a result of some of this pressure that has been applied. And to be fair to Apex, to give them credit, that the fact that this has felt very controlled by fours at the moment, by this T side, the fact they've already got four rounds is, is a testament to who they are. Not looking like fours are slowing down anytime soon. That mini map. No, they that's won't. Space being taken by Tania. He's in ladder room. It's 140. He's already in. Cool and this smoke. is smart. They can scale pretty quickly. A yeah. Apex have always been starting players towards ramp. That's just been confirmed by the palace push. So the smoke goes for deep connector. And jungle, which means you, you're allowing these players to take this space. This becomes very uncomfortable if you're Apex. But at the same time, on the D side, what can you realistically do? Not a lot. 
you're hoping for players to come to you, and that's exactly what happens, except it's an AWP. Finally, will be traded. Shalfi reveals himself. But ultimately, you've got control of all of the middle of the map, but you need to fight on towards A. And Sense's post ramp even further. They don't know about JCM. They don't know about Sense. Yeah, I feel like the intention here is just to play as much chaos as possible if you're fours. Smoke deployed into CT spawn, but they've cleared it out on both sides. I like that response. JCM now steps in. Good for one before he's traded. He knew the bomb was in towards middle. Sassanito's going to slip on through. A is very open. Oh, Steeker has a great line. A lot of damage done. Even planting will be tricky now. They'll have to go to CT, but Sassanito now gets activated. Gokushima left with 10 seconds remaining. Would like to do some damage, but not going to find a kill or recovered. And five for Apex. That's such a classic round of CS in which it's it's almost unconventional in, in all the right ways. You typically see teams that will take middle and then won't do anything with the space off the back of it. However, that's not the intention that Fours had. It was just really good reactions, as you mentioned, by Apex. Pushing into CT, having another player that's just tucked on the bomb site at the same time sensors pushed ramp. You're widening the net, but you're also narrowing the options that Fours really have. And they've got to clear so many angles. Last round of play here in this first half, look at what they're working with. And despite all of the good starts, Apex are building back into this game. And it's the best chance they've got to equalize the scoreline as the half is about to end. Some of the Norks surely good for one. Can get away with these. So it's a bit slower out the gate. Control being established. They walk on through. That's neither though. Gonna pop over and see two. Couple of free headshots. Nork finds one more. He should be looking for his stack. Okashima peeks past the angle, and there's Nork's orb all tied up at the half.
Six rounds each between Apex and Fours, and now Apex are on their, I, I guess, favoured T side. They perform better on the T side, but obviously have not been playing too well on this map. This is A, this is a pop, this can be very fast, and these players on site need to deal with it. Yeah, looking to deal with it. A little bit awkward, but a flash from over support him. Seltzer with a double and a triple. He's knocking them all down. Sense trying to fight back. Two quick kills. Needs three more, though. Looking for the Slayer on sight. Sense has given them an opportunity, but there's a flank coming. Shalfi's going to be in the back lines very shortly. Sense, this is a difficult clutch. He's made it a little bit easier already, but not ready for Shelfie. On that flank through, a nice try from Sense, but Selta knocks them all down as they enter. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of, Selta's play really gets overlooked by what just happens there by Sense. Fair play to him to find those three kills whilst being completely out in the open. He still finds all these headshots. He wants to give Apex a fighting chance, leading by example, but not to be. The flashbang came in at just the perfect moment. Contact being taken initially, it brings Apex further into the site, and then there's that utility. Full staying alive is everything. And here, this should be pretty clean and easy. Go to Yoshima only on a USP because he wants the AWP immediately. That was a lot of Glock dinks. <laughs> that was like two on the Seltzer, one on the Gokushima, and a couple on the Shelfie. But only the one kill found. Fours with another great start to the half. Apex get the pistol over and done with quickly. There you go. It's AK Town for the Apex squad. Very early off for Gokushima. We saw Nork with the same after he was able to get the, the MP9 kills. Another execute for Apex. Just looking to test the waters. Weren't satisfied with how the pistol one went as well. Well time smoke from Tanir. Only armed with an MP9 and they're going to have to go through all of this utility. But they can't. They're mollied off. They're smoked. There's some rotations are, are here in time. It's Shalfi with the rifle rather than Gokushima with the AWP. Another flashbang. Fully blind sense. But he's still able to find Tanir. Shalfi locked in. They're not peeking him. Whatsoever, finally he activates on the back of another flash. Shalfi with two important kills, and Selta turns on the swivel to do a connector. Oh, Jacob need to find that kill now. It gets really uncomfortable. Selta over the top finds one more. Sassanito from below, but Resol swings on through. And really, it was that trick up the sleeve in towards Triffle that gets it done. Also, the clean entry onto the site as well, right? They find sense, but they're a little early on the plant, I feel, before the, the site is fully cleared and. Yeah, a bit unfortunate for Jacob on that timing as he comes through Connector. I feel like he probably should have had that kill, but that swivel was something else. This is where it gets dangerous now as well. It, MR12, you lose the pistol, you lose the first gun round. Suddenly, it, it looks like the game is basically over. Your economy is in shambles. There's been no bomb plants whatsoever for Apex. And Fours can potentially just snowball their way into a map win. Right here, right now. At least JKM's got space in mid. In fact, he's just the only player here. If he can draw some attention, that might enable these players to get in B. Go fast. Straight on in they go. Resol and Shelfie, one of his. Jacob's dealt with. And this half investment, not getting too much done. Oh, almost. Second kill. It's bad. That's an auto sniper, by the way, for Gokushima. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I love it. I'm here for it. That's the um, a rarity in professional CS. But That's a bit BM. <laughs> it's a good gun. It is. The issue is. is the off is better, right? So, I mean, <laughs> okay. they've got different use cases, I guess. All right, this is cool. I want to see more of it. Let's let's really get that. This could be a tilter if he kills Nork. After Nork's just picked up the AWP and then he just dies to an auto sniper. Fortunately, not happening. It's Gokushima in mid instead. And he's not revealed he's got the AWP though. It's Sassanito actually deals with Shelfie as he looks under. Good nade as well onto Gokushima. But at least they're forcing the control away from this CT side. Sassanito is now hoping. 
that people keep peeking him. Because he'll take these kills all day long. This is bread and butter for Sassanito. Nia doesn't just slip in and out successfully. Resol's going on a mission. There is oh, they got the disadvantage. He's hunting. Oh, they're going to come to go Kashiva's lair. The auto sniper from Ticket. About to punch a few. They pause. Not committing just yet. It's all gone quiet on the CT side. They're a little bit concerned. Sansgar is on an investigation mission into B. See what's going on. Oh, the timing is everything here. Because Resalt is walking back. These players are uncomfortable because how do you how do you get this bomb over? Because Sense can call this clear, but ultimately he needs to either find this player, okay, or that could have gone awry. Instead, Apex can bring the bomb forward. They can plant on the site. And if it go Kashima, he can reveal, hey, I've got an auto sniper and I'm gonna be saving it. Yeah, that kind of takes the, the gusto out of the auto sniper when you have to reveal it just to stay alive. It's They're hunting it. They don't want this auto hunt. sniper in play. Yeah. It was like five grand. It's a, it's a good weapon to remove. Operation. You've got to play this right. Keep the auto sniper alive. Oh, he's done for. That's a little sad. Pick it up, Sense. Oh No. I like the fact he doesn't. It's based. Oh, you invested all your money into an auto sniper? Oh, well, now it's on the floor. And now you won't have a chance to use it. Because we're not going to give you the satisfaction. At least the auto sniper becomes an A1S at the very least. That's the, the first round that balls are conceded on the defense. Flush a window smoke. Or a throwback. Last up mid, three soul jumps into Jacob and they are able to get the kill. A deep smoke enabling them to flank on through with Sassanito. He's now going to start hunting, ready for this retreat. And there it is, free for him. Self is going to step in now. Sassanito can't quite find the kill, so keeps it even. Tease is setting up over towards A. There currently are two CTs in the wait. Well, time smoke. Because not only does it enable these players to get close, it also means that Celta, who was in connector, is now just in TV room. He pushed underpass, clears all of this intel, knows that it has to be this A play. So he just tucks into this room just in case Apex wants to come back, in case they're not sure. Balls have got all the info, but they need to hold on to the site. Kokushima is going to have a, a tough fight, though, supporting Tania here. Molotov is going to come onto Tania's position, and he's going to have to swing. And Sense is just ready for it. Perfectly isolates him. Steeko deals with Kokushima. He calls one and eight. Salta cannot get involved. That's tough. That's tough for fours, because basically what happens there is that they're caught in between two minds of revealing themselves by throwing utility or just having the surprise element. They're hoping that Apex are going to second guess themselves. They're hoping that they're going to go and search for information very much like they did with Sense in the round prior over to B. It was actually Celta that had the smoke, had the flash. So everything just kind of goes against fours in that round and apex they execute onto the site brilliantly they're able just to isolate these kills there's no chance for a trade because you've got different players from different elevations just causing all kinds of chaos despite there being kind of this tussle in towards mid it ultimately results with apex still coming out on top because fours are very proactive in taking the space back after they lose it initially and apex are really banking on that and they're just committing into where they know is maybe not safe, but where Fours will have removed one of their members to go and check out the other areas of the map. So Celta can get down with this AK. It's going to be him against the wild. 
So it's resist 5 7. Close range. I do a lot of try and flash in, and okay, yeah, 5 7. Guess work done. Shafi has armor if this AK can give it over to him. Nope, Result wants to keep it to himself. It does drop it to Gokushima, who didn't have a weapon. No, it just drops his pistol. Okay. <laughs> That's his AK. Yeah, he earned it, to be fair. Actually, no, he didn't. He just picked it up. <laughs> he earned it. Smoke. Oh, and re-salt. Swings. Gives another, and that gives the distraction piece, but sense on the swivel. Able to adjust and deal with re-salt, falling out of the window. It's all the hard work undone. Steepo in Palace. That's spot to near. He can fall away as well. Gotta remember that Celta did have the sole rifle in this round, and he's over at B. So if Apex do head there, they'll be in for a nasty surprise. This is very spread out for Apex. Celta's gonna walk away though at the perfect time that Sense walks in. Oh, has he heard That's that drop? Heard. Yeah. Very loud. I'm going to flush this player out, but Salt is playing this well at the moment. Is it going to be revealed? Yes. Sense, Vic lackadaisical in the clear. Salt are doing all the work right now, but Burnt Out still finds Deco and it's Nork with barely any time left. Needs a one versus two. First kill is his time to plant just. And Tania, who opened up the round, is now on a flank through the apartments. No kit, just needs to catch a timing onto Nork. That's all he can hope for. The Nork isn't ready. That was maybe the opportunity. But now he's known. And Nork can just play around. Give him a bit of space to run through. Nork able to close. Nice clutch. And Apex deal against the pistols. But honestly, for fours, bringing a single rifle in and a couple of five seconds, they got a lot done. Expensive. Ultimately, it is very expensive. I really like the way that Nork plays that clutch. As soon as he gets spotted out at bench, he falls back. And notice how he's always creating this separation. He knows that he's got the weapon. And he's just creating these long-range engagements to feel like he's always in control. Doesn't want to give to near any satisfaction of being able to deal the damage up close with the pistol. Just creates a little bit of breathing room. Final timeout now being called as well for Apex. So he won't be happy in which... Uh, as you mentioned, the manner in, of that round really went down. Sure, they won it, but it came at a very big cost. No AWP for Gokushima is a little bit of a consolation. Nork will still have his uncontested. But this needs to be the conversion. This needs to be the round. Because if Falls win this, suddenly Apex are uh, eco. Well, in fact, they're probably forced by in for the rest of the game. This is a very big round in terms of the ramifications of the longevity of Mirage for Apex. They have been struggling this game, but gets a nice opener. Resort removed. Salt wanted to try and fight back, but couldn't stick around. Staying fairly active. Stiko has found a kill too on the aggression. Stiko holding. Against this push from Fours, and that's surely going to be double digits. Surely Apex equalize off this. Good find. Celta hanging around. He's been very confident in taking these fights. Probably because of his scoreline. Hoping for a little bit more. We'll get it. The dink and the collection from Goku Shima. So a two on three. But Nor can... Historically, one of these players from Apex is always on B at the perfect time. It's going to have to be a save. This will be the conversion for Apex. This will be the equalization as well. Still got a little scary. Oh, absolutely. Two, two very clean openers, and then Fours are able to find two back. Sticker, lucky to be alive. Like, that could have gone horribly wrong. Apex will take it nonetheless. And Gokushima is actually, you know, we saw the auto sniper come through, but we're not really, outside of the initial AWP that came through in like the third round, 
he's not really been able to to have the impact with the sniper. You know, he was the player we flagged as the one to watch, but on this CT side, not being given his weapon of choice as much as he'd probably like. He should have had his weapon of choice, to be honest, but instead he buys an auto. Yeah, he can't even say it was a misclick anymore. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, also true, he could just sell it. Thin ice right now for fours. The good thing for them is that they've got the loss bonus because of the magnitude that this has been one way traffic for the last few rounds for Apex. It's been very nice. They've been dealing with a, a lot of the aggression. It hasn't been the same pacey, punchy nature that we saw fours bring to their T side. However, that might change in this round. Early smokes, top mid, window, double boost. For B, Gokushima goes straight into the guillotine assassinito. That's brutal. It's one of your weapons as well. Although, is Shelfie trying to get... Oh, nope. That actually backfired completely. He <laughs> he had an MP9 and he tried to throw the MP9 to grab the M4 to get out with it and he lost them both. Okay, he was able to get the MP9 back. Only because he got aggressive. That's so funny though. That sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. <laughs> if you're oh, forced. No. That's so funny though. Well played from Sassanito. Everyone's even juggled the weapon out. And now it's just patience. Now it's just finding these players. Once you get the confirmed intel, you should be able to lock it in. And they can. 11 rounds plays 10. Gokushima has enough money to buy the orc. Pause, take a pause. I want to Let's see them fight mid. Oh, that rhymed yeah. really nicely. Oh, double off. Okay. Okay. I mean, Sharp well, is having a game, so... Now they're probably not fighting mid. I'd, I'd like to have seen them maybe just push the issue. We've seen it with MP9s, but that was a limited utility. I think what, what's been interesting when you take a look at the CT side is that fours have been very... It's like they've got ants in their pants because they, they don't stay still. They're mm -hmm. always looking for new areas of the map to take. They're always looking for these scraps of information. But because they're doing it so consistently, Apex are just sitting back and they're punishing round after round after round. Yeah, some of these things that work really well on the T side, but is absolutely going to punish on the CT side. And I wonder if part of that's just a side effect of being such a young team, right? With a, a new IGL in this role. Uh, who's also very young, right? I think he's like 21. Yeah. The patience is virtue. As Apex uh, demonstrating. Hello, Sharpie, patient on the angle. With that secondary orb, does get the opening kill. A five back in towards middle. Salta wins it out just about. Nork slips in 4 1 back in response. Would have loved to play with it more HP to take down, but you take a kill. He knows. He knows they're pushing him. Uh, however, will he expect this? Gokushima is through ramp and... Oh, thanks for playing. That's crazy. Who pushes with a orp through ramp solo? I'm not sure, but Shalfi on this angle is pretty good, unless he gets cleared by Stiko. It's a hard clear now in CS2, this, this angle on the bench. Oh, that's a bait. He's trying to get him to go and peek. But he won't, and that's the bomb. We start walking. Nork. 1v3 again, and Tania knows that he's coming around this way. Even collecting the bomb is nigh on impossible. Flames now making it too hard. Tania in the back lines, and we are tied all up. Money not going to be an issue for Apex. Even if it is a, a slight concern for Fours, who had the double orb, won't have that into this round. Fours still fighting into this series. I don't know why you bought double orb and then your primary orb has pushed all the way through ramp into spawn. Like, that should have been a rifler. I'm not going to question it. 
But yeah. I'll tell you something, this is this is breaking point right now for the CT side. They lose this round, or they win it with a lot of casualties. There's still every single chance this can go OT. But if Apex convert this round, you're, you're looking at them taking map one by a narrow victory. Hit onto A. Execute utility coming on through to near in a good position on the balcony. Spotted out by Sasigo. Still finds the kill and can't be traded because of the flames. Fukushima is very low, has to fall all the way back, and now they can isolate this fight. But Tanir has found a double, almost three. He is doing everything. KG not quite going to go through. But this one player has completely halted this execute. Tania looking like he's locked in this round for Apex. Although, Jacob is on the big bomb site. The issue is, how do you even get this bomb back? Tania dodging every piece of utility, every bullet, and the entire squad from Force is here to defend. If you're Jacob, you gotta not even take this kill, it feels like, onto Resalt. You need a couple. Oh, what an angle, though, from Resalt. Oh, yeah, you can't. It's, it's too difficult. It gets undone instantly. Surely you save this. If you're Apex. You've got to run away. You've got to, con you've got to concede. You've got to just try and secure this orb. That might not even happen. Four alive is best case scenario for this CT side. I like the fact that they're just giving AKs. They're upgrading themselves. They're not fighting. They're not forcing to push the issue. It's very sensible. You can let them live. It doesn't matter. Nort can't drop an AK. Steeko can't drop an AK. Sense can't buy one. He'll have to be on a Mac 10. He'll have to be on a Galil if he wants utility. Maybe Nort can drop him something. There we go. Yeah, a little rough, isn't it? Tania solo winning that round for them. Like. No Molotov, just to, 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 like a single molly would have undone him, which is crazy to me that it just wasn't a consideration. Or if it was, it was too late. Apex were in a position to close this out. 13 to 11, but now it looks like that might be done to them as North gives up the first kill. Sense is spotted. Jacob is in a nice little boost position and might be able to catch timing, but again, it feels like it's too late to have the impact they want. And they're considering it as well. Gokushim is holding murder hole. What it was. Oh, to near accounts for it. Now you've got Palace, now you've got Ram. Selfs are spotted. They know that Tanir is here, but he has been thriving. Underneath the palace, Gokushima will lock it in. Fours take their map pick. And I was concerned about it when we saw it on the veto. But once again, Apex fail to win a map of Mirage. Fours, by the narrowest of margins, are just about able to close it out. Yeah, that perfect record for Apex of no wins this year continues. So not going to be changing today. Un